adding a Google Apps account to your iPad. First we go to Settings. We go to Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And we want to click on Add an Account. And here's where this differs from most procedures you see on YouTube and so forth. Click on Microsoft Exchange. Then we type in the complete email address which this particular account I'm going to add if I can type I'm not doing too well here doot, doot. at okay so dot org so I've added the email address here. Then I want to I want to copy sarasotochristian.org to the domain spot. So I'm going to double click on that, drag this over here, say copy, go down to here to domain and tap it twice and paste. It saves me typing. And then I could do the same thing for my username, but it's only two letters, so we're not going to bother with that. And then we put in the password, which I really don't want you to see, so I'm going to turn this away as I add that. Hopefully I did that correctly. And I'm going to leave the description as exchange. You can type anything you'd like in there as the description. So we click on Next. Now this is another little tricky spot. You want to put in for the server name m.google.com. There's a little button down here that says .com on it. And that should take care of it. So we go to Next. And it's all set up. We got on, on, and on for mail, contacts, and calendars for PC at sarasotochristian.org. All right, so let's go see. We'll click the home button and go back to mail, and we'll go back to. We'll click on inbox and see that this is PC at sarasotochristian.org. But I want to go see some more email boxes. I already have my primary one in here which is Sarasota Christian I called it instead of exchange and here I have tons of emails here that I've saved over time let's go back if we want to see the calendar we just go up here to calendar and we pick calendars and I want to see this one here which is PC at sarasotochristian.org and let's see what we have over here we can pick the day or the week, I want to pick week, and I see I have this meeting scheduled for tomorrow morning with uh, the course for the teachers in iPads. So let's go back to calendars because show all calendars. I also have my calendars synchronized from pconnor at sarasotochristian.org. So I have high school calendar, a chapel, high school computer lab, internal school calendar, middle school chapel. All those calendars are here. And I can go over here and look at a week's worth or just the day's worth, which has a nice list here, plus some details over here on the right. See that? Different colors, which can be set. Uh, you can look at it as a month or even just as a list if you like. So, that is how you set up a Google Apps account on your iPad.